I've got my handy helper here holding this deflector open as I've forgotten my uh, my thing outside just to hold it open so Dave is going to help me with that. I've got this deflector open as you can see here the belt's now nice and slack on the back and there's um, not as much resistance here now so I can get that belt off. As we take the belt off you'll notice that the driver moves about a lot more freely as I've taken the spring off this side as well now the tension from the belt is off so I'll film from a different angle and I'll show you where this new cable goes back on. Now although I've not got the new cable yet, I just wanted to show you something before I connect the new one up. Basically you just push it down the hole from the top. Um, I brought the lawnmower back in the garage and removed the belt off the back just so I can get in and show you a little bit better. But um, you get a little bit more movement you see, I can move this pulley now and I can actually get to the back of this, uh, this transmission box with this cable. Now the cable, if you can just see there, you can just see the top of it, the girl bit, it actually needs to plug into the back of the box. Now it's very difficult to get in to see what's going on. Um, even with a, a strong light on as I've got there but the best I can do is show you really the back of the box is like a plastic obviously a plastic box with a hole in make sure you push your cable in and make sure it connects in nice and snug as I said I would do I'm just going to show you how to put this cable back on basically my new cable arrived in the post which I've uh, I've pushed down into the base of the chassis if you like of the uh, the lawnmower and I've actually plugged it actually plugs in at the back as I've shown you in the, the previous video the cable which is very difficult to film it has to plug in at the back the actual black part of the cable plugs in at the back and the cable runs through here. So make sure you get the cable plugged in at the back and the wire through. Now, as you can probably tell from this video here, I've actually just got this on. Uh, as it was virtually impossible to film it and to actually do the job as well. So all I did was a reversal of when I was taking it off. I didn't try and hook it over the top. I actually put it on at this near side here and I pushed it on with a couple of flat-headed screwdrivers. And once it's on, basically as long as you don't uh, press down on this cable or move it uh, let's look at this end move it down at this end before you get the handle on then it should be okay to uh, to connect back up to this handle so what I'm going to do now is just basically connect this back up here and this, uh, this adjuster this just tensioned your cable as shown at the beginning of part one uh, and I'm going to hook it back up to this handle here and then uh, hopefully this lawnmower will once again be self propelled and I can uh, turn a good profit on it so as you can see here, I've just basically pushed this cable housing into this adjuster which sets the tension. Now this is um, virtually the same as where it plugs in at the back of the transmission box. You have to plug this housing in at the back of the box as you can see there. You have to plug this housing in and then this uh, the actual wire or the cable part of the actual cable pulls through and goes into the handle. So you must make sure that when you're trying to do it at the back of the transmission box, it feels like it's pushed in nice and solid into the back and then you pull this cable through. Now I've just um, put that into the handle, as you can see here, it moves up and down, probably moves up and down around about an inch. So we'll take a look in the back of the mower and just see if this transmission appears to be working okay. As you can see it's now uh, operating the lever now. Just a word while we're on about that, it's just the cable as well on the handle, it won't operate the speed if you do it any tighter or anything like that. The box is uh, the set to the speed, basically it runs on the, uh, off, off the engine from the belt, there's no change of speed by uh, altering the tension or anything like that but if it's not tension if it's not tensioned enough it won't pull and your lawnmower won't drive as I said at the beginning that's the thing to check first so I've got that all back together of course I need to put the blade back on and the uh, the belt guard and the belt and everything else and get this up and running so it might be worth doing this if you've got a lawnmower to repair for profit it might uh, cost you a few pound if you're going to get a cable it might sometimes be easy just to sell them as push mowers and not self propel but in this case I managed to get the cable I think it was about six seven quid maybe a five I can't quite remember but it's taken me about 25 minutes to do it a little bit of fiddling about obviously it takes a little bit longer when you're trying to film it it's very difficult to get in but uh, once you've done it a couple of times you can actually do this without taking uh, the blade off or anything like that and you can actually take the spring off at this near side as well there's one there which is quite difficult to get back on so it's. Uh, I, I think it's worth doing if you can get the the uh, the cable cheap enough. If you can get one for that price, it's worth doing it because it will add uh, at least thirty forty percent onto your final sale. So look yourself for a cheap cable. If not, best to take it off. I would have said and just sell this as a push mower. But I've now got this one to sell uh, in the springtime. It's you know starting of February now. Today basically I've not stopped in the garage today. I've just been. Uh, <laughs> here's my current collection. So. I just thought I'd have a quick shot of that. So if you're looking to start this uh, this repairing lawnmowers for profit, it's a great time to start this February because you've got time to get yourself some mowers just before the cutting season begins. 
So thanks for watching. I hope this has helped anyone out who's looking to replace a drive cable on a Mountfield SP470 lawnmower. Thanks for watching.